So you just go ahead and, and do this. Stabby, stabby. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, you guys, you told me that you can actually move the workbench. You just can't put it on the vehicle when it's red. All right, so what I did was I went over, I, did, I was going to do this on camera, but I didn't want to because I wasn't sure if it was going to work and I didn't want to waste your time. Um, so what I did was I went back to the workbench and, you know, if it's red, it doesn't work, right? And I don't see any way to put it directly over the vehicle with it being red. But if it's not red and it stays on the vehicle somehow, then you can bring it back. And that's what I did. So we do have a workbench. This is wonderful because I think today we are going to want to get set up... Um, Basically, what we're going to do today is we're going to want to get set up to get ourselves some um, water. All right. Water is the number one concern. In, well, actually, the number one concern in a survival situation would be oxygen, depending on what kind of situation you're in. But um, water is going to be my number one concern in this situation. Um, I don't know which side. You know, let's put it in this. Let's put it in this side. Let's put it in this side. Now, do we want to put this on this? Yeah, we could put this right over here. That'd be a nice spot for it. This would be a nice spot for it. I am going to keep my crafting stuff and my um, and my uh, storage in different areas. Uh, it doesn't really make... Well, I might put one or two storage things down here, you know, but my main storage is going to be upstairs. I want my main storage upstairs. And that looks like a pretty nice spot for that bad boy. That is awesome. So let's come on over here. And um, I can break these apart, which is pretty nice. So let's see what we get for these. I started breaking these apart off camera, but I wanted to break it for you guys. All right, so not too much there. Um, what about this? This gives clay. I don't remember what else these wheelbarrows give. Uh, am I going to mess around farming this season? I probably will. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Not right now, but we will do it this season. I'm wondering if this stuff actually grows back. Or grows back. What? <laughs> what? I was thinking about farming. I wonder if this stuff actually respawns. I kind of hope not, because what I'm getting from it is not that good. Uh, but actually, this stuff does give some good stuff, though. This one right here uh, does give some good items. Uh, the slide, the uh, the whole area over here gives a lot of good stuff. Uh, in the next few videos, we're going to be solidifying uh, food and water source. And at that point, we'll probably go do some more looting. And then I think we're probably going to... Am I full? Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't have any inventory. <laughs> I forgot. I don't have any inventory space. Um, yeah, at that point, uh, we will go and, you know, maybe rescue Scott or something. We need to... I want to get to the... Um, I want to get to the point where we we already have a good amount of guns, uh, definitely the sniper rifle, and then we'll go rescue Scott, and then um, hopefully Scott. I don't really know if Scott's in the same place all the time, um, but yeah, I would like to rescue Scott first. That would be wonderful, and then uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be uh, ready to rock and roll, man. Keep going with this let's play. I'm uh, very excited uh, to start be, start over again in this game. Um, starting over uh, starting over in this game is just it's awesome. It really is. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the rest of these. All right, I'm going to cut down the, as little amount of trees as possible. I don't know if I'm going to put big walls around this base. I still might. Some of you guys are telling me to put fencing around the base, right? I'm not really sure if I want to put fencing around the base. We'll see. You know, and what I mean by fencing is um, this, like, livestock fence. You could put this around the base. Honestly, it's not that much cheaper with the components. It's just cheaper as far as wood goes. And if I don't have Scott to chop down trees, that, that does matter. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, the thing about the fencing is it's going to look stupid. Like, like just having, like, like your base enclosed by, like, chicken wire fence. That's just, I don't know. It's going gonna, to kind of look dumb. I, I don't know if I want to deal with that. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. The, the thing is, I think I can enclose this base with not that many walls. You know what I mean? And walls are just intimidating. They're just awesome. So, and I'm not afraid of a little hard work. So, that doesn't bother me. Okay, so let's come on over here. And do we want to put down the distiller outside or inside? Let's put it inside. And I guess we could put that kind of stuff over here. I hate the way the grass comes through here, by the way. Um, I might actually turn the grass off because of that. It bothers me. Uh, the thing is, turning the grass off makes the rest of the game look like crap. But if, if, if I build in this room, that grass is going to annoy the ever-loving bejesus out of me. So... All right, well, whatever. Let's just uh, start this right here. And we're going to need a bucket for that. All right, we're going to need some firewood. All right, so let's see if we can make the bucket. Come over here to the workbench, and there's the bucket. There we go. Crafting myself because nobody else is here to help. We should also uh, solidify that door, shouldn't we? we? Probably should. Yeah, let's do that now. We should, we should solidify the door. Oh, boy, do I have anything to drink? I definitely got something to drink. I just don't know where. I know I have sodas lying around here somewhere. There we go. 
Lots of sodas, man. I got lots of sodas. I got a good amount of food here, but eventually we're going to have to go out and, uh, you know, take out that bear at some point. Uh, okay. You know, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to solidify the front door. I, I don't think the infected can come in through the front door, but whatever. I'm going to solidify it anyway because, I don't know, why not? Now, do I care about this little area right here? Nothing can get through there. So, but it kind of looks like stuff can get through there. You know, just for just for the looks, I kind of want to block it in. But maybe I could do that later. Or I could do it now. Yeah, let's just do it now. The hell with it. All right, so there we go. Come on. How's that? Nope, not quite. It's never quite as good as you want it. But it is good enough. All right, so now we'll put one right here. Let's go ahead and save the game. Try to remember not to save it in between. You know, that way uh, I could just go back on the save if I mess things up royally. Which I probably will. Alright, how about you? Uh, let's do this. Lock in. And... That looks pretty good to me. Alright, so probably one more. But then the gate's not going to be directly in the middle. I kind of want the gate directly in the middle. Why? I don't know. Reasons. Uh, well, it's going to be hard to line up properly, 100%, but I think that might be okay. And then let's put this right here. Uh, see, that's not going to... Yeah, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these apart. We're going to go the opposite way. We're going to build out from the gate, which is what we should have done in the first place. Gate looks pretty good. Um, so what we'll do is... We'll go, I don't think this locks onto the gate, which is kind of annoying. Maybe we should just build the gate. Yeah, save the game. Uh, we don't have any sticks, do we? I went out and got a lot of branches. Where the heck did I put those branches? Come on. Uh, well, they're not in here, right? No branches or sticks? No branches or sticks. Did I use them all up? I don't think I did. Well, if they were anywhere, they'd be in here. Oh, there we go. We got some branches right there. That's not nearly enough. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I, I knew I had a lot. I knew I had a lot. So let's go ahead and make these into sticks. And just make them all in this. Nah, make 14 for now. Make 14 for now. Alright, let's go ahead and finish that gate. And make sure it looks good. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. It's not exactly lined up, but it's lined up enough. Actually, it might be pretty... Almost exact, but whatever. I, don't plan. Wait, don't think. Don't plan. Just do it, my man. There you go. All right, so this will lock into here. And... Okay. And then let's uh, put one on the other side. Actually, I'm going to save right here because I really like where that gate is. But I saw the mist coming in. Oh, my God. Don't open up your inventory screen when you're saving because then you have to be stuck in it. You're freaking stuck in it. All right, so there we go. Livestock fence. That'll go into the building. Or I could just do it like this. And just call it a day. Nah, I'm not doing that. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> now this is going to go into the building. It might be a problem, it might not be. We've got to go on the other side and see how much of an annoyance that is. Uh, You know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I don't see any other way around it, either. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Make sure the other side isn't going to bother me. What doesn't bother me, right? There we go. And like so. And that rhymes, don't you know. Okay. And one more. Alright. This, this building is going to be impenetrable on day two. Yeah. I don't love it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it alone. I'll figure something out to make it like not bother me that much. Alright, let's just build this sucker up now. Let's build it from the inside. Not that it really matters. Uh what am I missing? Ooh, more components. You know, I might not have any more components. God freaking components, right? I gotta get to the you see I gotta get to the um to the mine. There's two mines now. 
And I gotta get to the mine to, to make the uh, sledgehammer to get more components. And I don't have to technically do that. I could break apart cars with my with my axe, and I might end up having to do that. But I really don't want to if I can avoid it. I mean, you can, you can use the axe a little bit. It's not really, like, the end of the world, you know? I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible. Maybe we should go break apart some cars now. Yeah, we're gonna have... Oh, no, we ran out of sticks. All right. Fair enough. Make more sticks. And I'm, I'm probably going to have to turn off the grass permanently anytime I'm at base. Because that grass growing through my floor is just... Ugh. Just... Ugh. You know what I mean? What? What part of it... Ugh. Don't you understand? <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and throw the sticks in here. And then we're going to go out and grab some cars. Have I broken apart a car for you guys on this, uh, this series? I know this series, but I mean this actual Let's Play. I don't know. Let's go get some. Let's get some! We'll get some cars. Okay, right up here is a fantastic place to get cars. Shouldn't be any bears or any, um, any randits. Should be good to go. Go ahead and save the game. Just in case. And let's go and get some cars. Can I hit both of these? Nah. Sometimes if the cars are close enough, you can hit both at the same time, which is great. Yeah, look at this. Look at this axe, dude. It's at 49.2 already. Look at this. Eh, you know what? That this is this is bad. This is even worse than I remember. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know what? I might have to go to the mine a little bit earlier than I thought. Um, in order to go to the mine, though, I am going to need a pickaxe. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the mine a little bit earlier than I planned because that's oof, man. Look at that thing. The cool thing is though, once you get um. Once you get Scott, if you rescue Scott, he'll uh, he'll cut down trees for you. And the cool thing about Scott is he's like got magic magic hands, where his axe doesn't ever take any damage, which is just phenomenal, obviously. So let's go ahead and finish this one up. Then we're gonna finish up that uh, we're gonna we're gonna make the uh, distiller and we're gonna start dis distilling some water, man. Yeah, we got enough soda where it's not really a problem, but you know you don't want to wait. You know, like oh I got soda, so I don't need a distiller. And I don't got soda. I don't need distiller. Oh, I don't have any soda. Oh, wait. There's no distiller. Oh, wait. I don't have what I need to make the distiller. Oh, wait. Dehydration has killed me. Yeah. You don't want to wait until the last minute, right? So you get that water supply. You get it going. You know. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get a lot of water supply. I'll make... I'll, eventually, I'll make multiple distillers. So, that'll be nice. Okay. So, let's go ahead and finish this up. And we're going to need some more sticks as well. Which kind of blows... I hate going to get sticks. Freaking sticks, right? Am I right? And through the power of editing. Power of editing. There you go. That was awesome. Um, yeah, so here we go. We got a bunch of sticks, and our house will be 100% secure. I mean, I remember last time I built at the White House, the uh, bandits used to come attack your base, right? They'd, like, retaliate if you attack them first. And then, like, it was it was in balance for some reason. There was something wrong with it. I don't remember exactly what. But something wasn't working right with it. And he disabled them. That was a long time ago, though. Kind of wish he'd fixed that. Because, like, it was pretty freaking cool. I mean, it was annoying sometimes. But, you know, I mean... Yeah. Wow. It looks nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's move this stuff inside. Uh, I'm going to keep my first sets of storage down here. But eventually, my main storage will be upstairs. Uh, because it just makes sense, you know, you want to keep your main storage, like, out of harm's way as easily as possible, you know, and, uh, we're gonna leave these water things out here, I'm actually gonna put one of these water things up here, because we're gonna go get some dirty water and bring it back, uh, we are gonna need a bucket for that, oh, I'm gonna need another bucket, yeah, I'm gonna need another bucket, okay, um, oh, wait, no, no, you don't make buckets with dirty, with the dirty water, you make watering cans, um, watering cans are used to water crops, but you can, you can move water around in them, and they're actually, um, pretty quick, although I think you could do the quick, I, there was like a, there was a trick with filling these up really quickly, and I don't remember what it was, damn it, <sighs> maybe I'll just make the bucket, I don't have enough, uh, components anyway for either of them, so I guess it's irrelevant, so let's go ahead and close that, Close that, and let's finish this. Now we need some uh, some firewood. All right, so you might be wondering how to get firewood. Firewoods are really, really simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go where... Is that two trees or one? It looks like one, but it's a big freaking tree. I think that's two trees. Yeah, maybe it's one. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to chop down this tree, and whenever you're chopping down trees yourself, you just look down, 
because you do that downward swing and it's faster than the sideways swing. So I'm going to go ahead and chop down this tree and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the log from it and you're basically like making, it's kind of like a stump, right? Uh, that you just basically cut wood on and that's how you get firewood. And we're going to pick this stuff up. All right. Very good. All right. And then we're going to finish this up because you, you can cut out the stump as well for an extra log. Here you go. Grab all this. Oh, I'm full. That's okay, though. And, um, you know, normally I'd put this, like, kind of out here, but it's not really safe out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to come down here. And where is it? Is it at the top? It's at the top, isn't it? No. There it is. Stump. And we're going to make a stump right here. And the stump is going to just be a place to cut firewood. And then once that's done, we can go in there. Whoa. Oh, freaking low texture. Uh, we're going to go in there and we're going to cut ourselves some firewood. Okay. And then now we're going to finish this bad boy up. That's awesome. We need to make a uh, campfire as well. Uh, but we'll probably do... Oh, yeah, we, we got time. We'll do, that. we'll do that this episode. All right. So now we need to go get some water. Do we have enough time? Yeah. Kind of. Well, we don't have a bucket. So... Oh, man. I can't believe I don't have a bucket. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. You know what killed me in this, uh, the beginning of this Let's Play is having to make all these, um... Oh, the stump's coming through the wall. Alright, well, that's okay. We... Oh, you can't pick up the stump either. That's alright. We'll break it up and make another one later. Oh, man. What's killing me with this episode is I had to make all this fencing. And, um, that has just been, uh, a big problem because, you know, it takes a lot of, uh, components. I think we're gonna have to trash this axe. We're gonna have to cut down another car. Um... Yeah, what are you going to do? All right, well, let's have a soda. Because anytime I have problems, I always drink a soda. And that magically cures my problems. And then we're going to go ahead and eat some of this. And we'll eat this one as well. And my problems... Oh! Have magically just been cured. Let's go upstairs, guys. I forgot I had stuff up here. Boom! Components! Yeah, boy! All right, so that is really, really nice. I'm glad I, glad I had that. All right, so um, I'm going to make the watering can, I guess. I'm definitely going to do some farming at some point, so I'm going to do the watering can because if, if nothing else, it does hold more than the bucket. And I'm also, before I do that, though, I'm going to have to make some nails. There we go. I need a, a nails for a, a watering can? Hmm. All right, well, I've never made a watering can in real life. Maybe it takes nails. I don't know. What do I know? <clears throat> All right, so we don't have a place to sleep, which kind of sucks. Um, do I want to make a bed let's see what it takes uh oh six you know what i'm gonna hold off on the bed you sleep on the floor chump sleep on the floor come on mary make me sleep on the floor for whatever just shut up and go to sleep all right good no infected in the area that i can that are keeping me up at least Two, all right five o'clock you're good to go so we'll sleep till five and then we're going to go out and get some water. All right, I forget the trick. There was some trick to getting water really fast. You leave it in your hot bar or something. I don't remember. We'll see. It might only be good if you have multiple water cans, I guess. Or but I think it works with buckets, too. But what else? It don't really matter. Right, let's go ahead and save the game. And let's open the door. Get in. I don't know why they allow you to open the door when you don't need the door open. But it is what it is. The water source is right over here. There are some zombies in that in that cabin as well. Um, they shouldn't be a problem, though. Yeah. Okay, let's try and back up a little bit. Okay. Should be pretty decent. I could always take the thing off the truck if I need to. Turn the truck off. Get out of the truck. Yeah, let's, let's bring it with us. I think you can drop this in the water and you'll never see it again, so be careful. And you can do the same thing with your bucket. <laughs> so, okay, fill a bottle unsafe water. But we don't want to do it that way. What we want to do is press number three to take our thing out and then press E. There you go. All right, yeah, that alone is way easier. That alone is way easier. And you have to take it out of your hand to put it up there, though. Can, you could, Oh, can you put that in there? I, you might not be able to. Oh, you can. Thank God. Thank God. So this thing holds 15 liters of water where the um the regular buckets only hold 10. All right? So there you go. And if you can make multiple of these... See, that's a lot easier, right? I'll show... 
just in case you don't understand why that's a lot easier, I will do it the uh, opposite way, which is the way I've always done it. And um, one of you guys in the comments told me about this, and it's phenomenal. So what I was doing was, I was pressing V, I was dragging this up here. Actually, I didn't have to drag it. I think I would just shift click. No, you can't even shift click. Yeah, drag it there. Oh, never mind. You can't even do it. Well, what I was doing with buckets is I was dragging it in there, hitting the fill button, dragging it out. Oh, wow. So, man, this is way better. This is way better because you can't even do this. You can't even use this with buckets um, normally. And the buckets only hold 10 liters of water and these hold 15. Now, you might be thinking, oh, five liters, right? But think about it. Five liters per full like per like filling action that's that's that adds up right <clears throat> so this is great this is great and we're actually gonna need oh god freaking phone why did i forget to mute my phone first video of the day what are you gonna do all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this up here all right cool and you get a lot more water than if you were playing this before the most recent updates you might think eh water whatever you know, 50 liters is good enough for the rest of your life in this game. Not so, well, I mean, I guess it still is like that, but not if you want to do, um, oops. Not if you want to do, uh, farming. Farming actually takes uh, a pretty decent amount of water. There we go. All right. And the reason I wanted two water barrels is because now what I can do is I can have one water barrel of dirty water and then have the other water barrel of clean water. So I can, I can just, you know, continue boiling the water and moving it through the system and just saving up clean water. And as far as I know, you don't need clean water for crops. Thank God for that. All right. And I'm going to fill this up one more time because I can. And it only takes one second. Oops. E button cage. E button there you go. Alright, cool. So let's put this on the back of the truck and bring it back home. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, peeps. That's the way it's done. That's the way it's done. Oh, I was so glad when, when someone told me that in the comments. I was like, I didn't understand it at first. I was like, what are, you, what are you on about? You know, what are you talking about, bro? And then when I figured out what they meant, I was like, oh my god, that is legit. That is legit. Okay. So now we've got some water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this inside. Because I can. Is it going to be easy to bring inside? I don't know. It might be a little tougher with this. Nope. There we go. Open that up. Should be pretty easy to bring in there. And then eventually what I'll do is I'll get another truck. And then I'll have a truck specifically designed to um, carry water thingies around. Um, and then we'll be good to go. Alright. So this needs to face the proper way. And I got the firewood in the way. So let's pick that up. And there we go. Boom, water. Now, I don't think I could put this in here, right? Nope. That's a problem. I do. Need, I still need a bucket. All right, well, you know, um, with, with components being as, you know, a, a big of a deal for me as they are, I probably should have just made the bucket because I have to make it anyway. But that's okay. That's okay. I, I don't really... I mean, we're going to need that watering can anyway, and it's, we're not going to wait too long before doing farming. So, let's go ahead and make a bucket. Bucket, 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 And there we are. Okay. So, put this in here. Take. Put that right there. Now, I'm going to need bark. And probably a decent amount of it. Now, there's a couple ways you can get that bark. You can get, you get bark by cutting down trees, or you can get bark by stabbing a tree with a knife. And I think I'm going to stab a tree with a knife. I mean, I'm gonna be cutting, <clears throat> I'm gonna be cutting down trees, but no, actually, I might not. Honestly, I might not cut down too many trees because it's just, this is boring. I'll wait for Scott to do that. So you just go ahead and, and do this, stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby, give me that bark. Now, the problem with this is it does use up durability on your knife. Oh, God, a lot. Damn, man. I only stabbed the thing like 12 times. It's down to 75%. Ah, uh, see, we got to go do some looting, too, because we will find more knives out there. Now, eventually, this won't be a problem once we start mining, but, you know, until then. Yeah, we need to get we need to get a pick, and we need to get mining. There's two mines in the game. I'm going to talk to you guys like you're new to the game, because a lot of you might be. There's two mines in the game, right? And um, the one mine is for, like, ammo items, like bullets and stuff. Uh, well, actually, more it's for gunpowder. And the other mine's for, like, ores, uh, as far as I could tell. Or as far as I remember. Uh, what else do I need for this? I don't remember. Oh, 
Yeah, we need the firewood. Actually, let's just go ahead and make some more firewood. Timer, shut your freaking mouth. Okay. I'm gonna go grab the rest of that bark before I forget. What's that knife at? Oh, God, that knife's at 56%. Jesus, one set of bark from that tree. Half the knife is gone. It was at 100%, wasn't it? That's a, that's a bit much, man. That's a bit much, I think. Okay. Well, there it is. All right, so let's give it the water. It can hold 16 ounces. Ugh, you gotta do this. If you don't put the number in here, it should just give the entire bucket of water. Like, I hate having to do that. Not that it's really that big of a deal, but... Here we go. Take. I think next episode we're gonna kill the bear. Probably. What do I want to kill him with? Can I just stab him with a spear? I think I can. Basically, normally, if you normally in order to kill a bear, you probably want a gun, right? But what I do is I go up there, and I kind of jump to where the bear can't get me, and then I bring him over to me, and then I just stab him with the spear. You know, it cheese it, but hey, man, it's a survival game. You, get, you do what you gotta do. There we go, and let's light this up. There you go. And 16 liters will now be distilled. Success! Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, guys. You know what? That is going to be the end of the video. We got the uh, entire house secure, and we got our water situation completely uh, taken care of, which is just phenomenal. But I am going to call this one here. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. And if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm setting up for a screenshot. <laughs> see you next time, guys.